Hello. Okay, so quickly, how to save an ATM strategy on TradingView while using TradingView account. So here I have my practice account on TradingView open. I've logged in already, and now I'm going to show you how to create an ATM strategy. So I'll be using the buy sell buttons as well as the the panel that usually comes up when you click on buy or sell. So here, okay, we're uh, this is a goal. This is agent session. I'm looking to buy. So if I was looking into buy, and this is with instant order, I'll be in the trade, right? But that's not what we want. We want to have an ATM uh, when, with brackets, right? Uh, before getting into trades. So I clicked go to settings, check off instant orders. Okay. So now I'm looking, still looking to get into a trade. Click buy. So we're all familiar with this panel, which allows you to put in market limits, stop, stop limits. So for this uh, illustration, I'm going to show you how to create an ATM for this uh, go trade and how you'll be able to save it and then use it in the future. Say you want to do two contracts, right? Take profit, stop loss. Your stop loss, you know, you can decide what your stop loss for this will be 20 ticks and my profit will be 200, right? And so I'm interested in the buy. What I can do going forward now is to go here, order preset, save order. Now I'm going to save this order as, say, two con, right? Risk uh, 200, 400, right? So I'm going to save that. Okay, and either right now, once I save it, I can actually enter in the trade and I'll be placing the trade or I can just exit out, right? The next. If I want to do a sell, the same thing. If I want to do a sell, oh, I want to do a sell. The same thing. You can, you know, you can create a, a um, you can create a ATM strategy and have it saved here. Go to save order preset and you can save it. Um, it doesn't matter. You don't need to do a sell or buy because with this, once you have it saved, you can. Um, you can use it for buy or sell. So like, for example, you can go here, go to gold. And if you want to sell, click sell. It will bring up this panel again. Um, you can make changes, but again, you want to rely on the ATM strategy that you have saved. So you can exit out of this and see your order is, is, is here. So you can choose to move your strategy around you can move your ATM entry around to wherever you want to enter and it automatically has brackets now if you want to enter right away you would just have to hit sell right oh in this case it didn't put you in but yeah essentially you hit sell sorry um If it wasn't Asian night, if you click, if you enter sell, you'll be um, in, automatically pl placed into the, the trade. Um, so here, if you click, if you click buy, right, you exit this out. Now, if you, just because you click on the ATM strategy doesn't mean that this automatically going to place you into the trade. You will have to actually click on buy in order to be placed in the trade. And now you're placed in the trade. So you still have some control over where and when you want to get into trade with these with the save. And this is when you don't have the instant orders placement. So if you can leave this unchecked, you can have your order saved, and then you'll be fine. So now I'm gonna show you what it happens if you have um, instant orders placement. If you click instant order placement, what happens now is now you can make sure you have gold, right? And if you click buy, sometimes it puts you in um instantly, and sometimes it'll just put you in. It's a limit, right? Um, and then you can choose to again move your 
thing. But if you move, if if, if it's a buy, you move it up, it's going to automatically place you into the train, right? And then you can still have control over where you put your sell limit, your sell stop um, for this for this train. Now let's move over to ES, right? Um, and you decide that you want to make an ATM for this. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take off the instant orders so I can create one for this, right? And so what we're going to do, okay, I'm, I'm creating. This is just me creating another ATM. I'm going to say, okay, I want to risk five, say five contracts, and I'm 25 in this. Again, this is six. So then, again, you'll go here, you save order, and then you can say five cons, you know, whatever description you want to provide. And it's saved, right? It's saved. So you, once you save it, you can, if you are interested, you can enter the tray. You can hit buy here. And again, you can move. You can move this. But if it's a buy, sometimes it will actually put you in the tray. But yeah, you can move. You can move the ATM strategy on your chart. But again, it comes with the bracket. Now, if you want to do sell, it's the same thing. Sell. Um, you can hit sell, or you can just, again, because you press, you know, because you have ES, you can choose to just leave this here. Now, when this is on your chart, it's not going to automatically place you in the trade, right? Um, you still can choose to wait. You can decide to close. Or if you really want to get into the trade, then you will have to press sell. And then that will put you, um, allow you to get into the trade. Either instantly or, you know, whenever price gets to your target. So, and this is with, again, this is with your settings. Instant orders placement not on. Now say you you're you know you say you're using different charts. So right now you're in ES and you move over to gold. You have to make sure that you don't have you know. Now that you're on the gold, you want to make sure that you're on gold contract, right? But even so, even if you end up mistakenly using ES right to enter this trade, right? You're like, okay, I'm on ES. Oh, I think it. Oh, I think it automatically. Sorry. Oh, I think it doesn't matter. It seems like it has a save. Yeah, it has a save actually. So even if you are not on the right ATM, still can place your ATM. So I hope this helps. Again, I usually like to have it on here because I like to get into my trades right away sometimes. Um, and even if I, again, if even without, even with this on instant orders placement and I buy, it gives me a bracket because I have it saved. If I didn't have the, the ATM saved, it would just put me into the trade without brackets. So that's important distinguish, um, distinguishing um, factor with this. Bye.